Okay, a services here in Uganda and here in Mora district located in eastern Uganda. So guys, I know there are so many people watching us outside there, people from Netherlands, people from USA, people from Ghana, people from Kenya. I love you guys so much for watching us. I love you guys from Uganda who are watching us and all the Africans who are watching us. Remember, what we are doing here in this channel is to inspire the youth outside there from Africa, inspire the women outside there from Africa, inspire everyone so that you'll be able to do what others are doing. And today I am here in Mora district and in a very big cooperative in Mora. And remember, I am with my Toto here, who is a, a chairperson of a certain cooperative. She will tell you and she will really educate you today how to start Punta Farming. But allow me introduce her. Thank you so much, Mama. What, uh, what can you tell the people outside there? What are your names? And can you introduce yourself? Thank you so much. Welcome, guys, outside there. Here is Ngora District Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative, where I am the chairperson, and my names are Aanyu Aujo Helen. Here in Ngora District Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative, we do a series of enterprises or activities, one of which is poultry projects, which you can see here. Here with me is one month old chicks that we have started as an enterprise that can really inspire the youth to grow outside there and even beyond. You know, when you handle this type of uh, an enterprise, you really realize quick returns very fast. You yield money in your pockets uh, within a period of one month. I would have loved it to say they would start from a one-day chip, but yes. at that stage, there are so many challenges which we call risk. But when they have grown to this age, to this age, you really yes. find that these ones can no longer die because oh. they are already treated. You can just take this and then you only feed on our local foods that uh, you can find outside there. And these ones you can even put on free range, like we shall show you from out, out there. Yes. Here really, these ones we sell at 8,000 at this one month old. Wow. But when they have grown to three months, it doubles and even plus. Because by that time we shall be selling at 20,000 per chip. Meaning, you'll have already yielded a profit of 12,000 on top of eight, wow. which is very good, really. I encourage you people out there, and especially in Uganda here, come to Mora District and find us in Mora. We are located within market area. You will always get us with these chicks. And if you start this type of a project, you will grow very fast. I want to say thank you so much. Really, really, I welcome you. When you visit us, reach us, allow me also cite out a few of the challenges which we as an organization are faced with. Yes, yes. You can see this small house. We have started from here. Due to inadequate funds, we have started with this small house. But we have prospects that we need to grow very big. So outside there, if really you are also a supporter of women and the youth, support us. We really urge you to support us in any way you can wish to support us, financially, materially, even your human resource wow. is something very important for us. Materially, you can construct for us a big special house and we shall be very grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow. Here with us is a lady. Is a lady so, who yes. is a, a, who is managing this small project oh, wow, of ours. Wow, wow. So she much. does a lot of work. Let her say hi to you. Hi. How are you? I am Mami Dina. Wow. I am the one who does this work. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. That is what we do here in Mora. And I think this story will really inspire you. You've known that this uh, project is uh, employing people, and you've seen one of the employees. I think, Mama, how many people are employed here now? Yeah, apparently, we have two staff. 
one of which is a boy yes. and then a mama. Meaning, these are vulnerable people, but by now, after this work, when the month ends, they also get soap in their pockets. Wow. We give them something very little. There's one thing, Mama, that I really want us to tell these people outside there who are watching us. Because people tend to say uh, this business of uh, this country farming is very expensive. And I think uh, out of what you've told us, it is better for beginners. I think it is good for beginners to start with it. Actually, this is the best project for women and youth, especially wow. when you are starting. When you are starting, don't hurry for one day chick. Just rush to the chicks of one month old. So, and you find that you rush to money. Yes. With these ones now, this is only money. Not again diseases, yes. but money going to the Because pockets. they already uh, they are vaccinated. What are really the benefits of these ones here? One. Yes. One benefit is that you can use it for nutrition uh -huh. as a food. Second benefit is that you can get the income, money, to your pocket. Very Third, third benefit is manure to the garden from their litters. And then the feathers also do us good, good benefits. I want to say eggs, when they have grown to a uh, age of five months, you really find that they lay eggs. In that cubic, they are eggs that the other grown-ups have started laying. I want to say thank you so much, our dear listeners. Thank you so much. With a lot we have, since it is a multi-purpose cooperative, we also keep turkeys, we also keep some animals, we also have pigs, but apparently in this unit, this is what you can see. We also have the grown-up chicken, which are on free range outside. We also have a cow, which is improved, a fresh so, so you mean so when these ones grow up, we take them for free range outside there? Yes, yes. And guys, we are, we are going to show you that one. And, and the other ones are now how much? Uh, the other ones go at 30,000, wow, males wow, go wow, at 40,000, but they are on free range and they are very healthy. Because they are, at this age, they are now fully vaccinated, resistant to diseases. Wow. So guys, outside there, what I really want to tell you, I think the best business for those ones who are starting, it is better for us to start with what? With a, a one month cheese. Uh, instead of the other one, uh, one day cheap. It depends. If you have a lot of money, you can start with the other ones. Mm. But if you have uh, little capital, then you can start with this. Because quick calculation, if you start with uh, just 100 of them, mm. you will, and you come here to Mot Farm Court, I think you will buy at the 8,000, 8, 80. 8,000 Then after, after just two months, two months you sell and get a get profit of 1.2. 1 1.2. That is 2 million, then you get 1.2. 1 1 now the fields will take only like only 200,000 and a profit of 1 million. 1 million. So guys, why are you wasting time there? Come tomorrow, come to Mon Farm Coast. I know I'm going to tell Mama to give you the contact because what uh, Mon Farm Coast has done in Mora here by the Mama. That's why I came over here. Yes. So many people know you outside there. You have inspired so many people. They told me you worked with the Teso Cooperative, the biggest cooperative in the yes. region. You you work, you help them in the district. You have done so many things. I that... have really done so many things. Wow. With the permaculture, you can see how my home is designed. Because you we can't waste anything. Anything is not a waste, but you only recycle to make something. Like for example, these liters, we take it to manure the gardens. Here with us, you find some bananas growing. Bananas are very good for vitamin C. You also find some purpose, still vitamin C, vitamin A, very many things outside there really. Why not come to us? I will educate you. I am a permaculturist. I am an agriculturist. I am a trainer. I am everything actually that you need outside there. When you reach us, reach us on this contact 0782 750 487 or 0772 982067. 
and you'll have already already reached what are district farmers by the purpose cooperative where you really find a home of abundance. Thank you, thank you wow. so much. Wow. You know what? I wanted to end this interview, but mm. there is something that I really need to yes. need to ask you. Mm. Uh, whatever you've just told me, whatever you've told us has really inspired even me. Yes. And we know you've worked with women, you've worked with the with the youth, youth. here in yes. Africa. And there is something I think you have in Africa. When when someone talks about Africa, what really comes to your mind? Because people say we are poor here in Africa. What really comes to your mind? By the way, when you are especially in Uganda, yeah. Uganda is a part of Africa. Wow. And when you are Africa, it is a continent rich in diversity. It is a good environment. You find mountains. You find food in abundance, all types, organic foods, not this improved foods, but organic foods, which are very good for your growth. You also find animals that we keep, because in our homes here, we keep animals showing outside us there that it is our beauty to have some of the animals live with us. Like for example, the cattle, the dogs, the cats, and rabbits and hares, we rear them to keep our beauty as Africa. Wow. And even minerals you find in Africa, but that bit is for the government of Uganda. Wow. We can't, we as us cannot enter into minerals, but via agri, really we are very good. And uh, only our challenge is that we have inadequate funds to support us, which on with these activities. For example, like I had earlier on said, that these chicks are only 250. But if I hadn't, we had enough funds, we would have opened a big house like the church, and whereby we can keep three, four, five thousand. And uh, we sell at once and really get good amounts of money that can support us grow even more, bigger. And also in the crops, like for example, if we have grown maize, rice and so on, we lack the machinery, the hullers to haul and then we package to add value to our crops. And also a warehouse whereby we can store. When that time of market comes, we would wait and then sell when the market is there. In the time when market is low, during the harvest uh, uh, the harvest time, you find that there are really so many people harvesting, and their prices drop low. We keep in that warehouse, but because we are just moving slowly, but we are praying we shall be there. Wow. One day we shall reach there. Wow. Thank you so much. I thank you so much. I think you really, being a counselor, being a dictator, you really have an advice to the youth, to the women outside there. If you're given that chance, what would be that advice? That um, be one of which is quickly that for women, let us come to the groups. Come to Ngodu Farm Coast. You come to Ngodu Farm Coast, a way to go. We shall make you grow. We shall really give you knowledge. We shall guide you. And especially, we shall equip you with this as a startup capital and then we move on. You can see all this. Wow, 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 wow. This is so great. The first ones, we give some of the members three, three to start as their startup capital. I am happy some of them have reported that they are laying eggs now. Since it is now on free range, they will start laying the, the eggs. For, for these crawlers, they lay all throughout until they grow old is when you discuss of, or discard or cull. That is the right word you use, yes. culling them. Thank you so much. I really wanted to ask you this type of uh, birds you are keeping here because I know there are people now watching us uh, asking, I don't know which type of uh, breed is that. Can you tell us the breed, then uh, maybe the benefit of this breed and what they eat? Because I know you have, uh, uh, since this is Africa, we have local local food that we give them. Thank you so much. Outside that there, in Uganda apparently, we have very many breeds or types, but uh, allow me quickly mention a few, like the brolas. Brolas are mainly kept for meat, and layers are for eggs, but for us we chose the crawlers because we know they do both services. Oh, you can these use them crawlers. for meat, these are crawlers. We use them for meat, we also use them for eggs, because if they start laying, they cannot 
uh, stop laying. And then the other thing is, you can multiply them by hatching. If you give our local hens, they can hatch. If you take to the factory, you collect those eggs and then take to the factory. You hatch yours, your own. Meaning that is very good and very simple for my use to grow rich very fast. When they collect these eggs, they find out where to sell them so that they can be hatched back to the project and then they also keep and then grow and the circle uh, continues. I want to say really with the crawlers you can keep them on free range. You can see how the other ones outside are growing. They are doing very well. They are now used to the environment. They now pick their food alone. I don't now again give them much of these feeds that I buy. Meaning they have cut the cost of purchasing feeds. Thank you so much, our dear little listeners. Wow, that is so, so great. Now, guys, uh, this is uh, uh, Jokea Services, and my name is Julius Ojula. Please subscribe this channel and share this video. Please, can you first like the video, I think, by force? Then after liking the video, share this video to so many people there, such that our Africans will be inspired. Anyone who wants to venture, to venture in this type of agri, and this is Pontre, uh, let the person be inspired in this story. And we are going outside there to show you the now the the bonus uh, yes and the turkeys that we are selling at Sate Southern then uh, for the females Sate Southern then for males uh, for the Southern and you will really calculate the the, the profit that you're going to get to and we are going to give you the turkey. Thank you so much for watching. Continue watching. We are going to show you something. Bye bye for bye now. Bye bye for now. Yes.